I was inspired by watching uh, Amanda Howes do some work with a program she was working on that every time in Minecraft the Minecraft character was flying that an LED would light up and so I recreated some code that was similar to what she did at least I assume it was similar uh, the character flies you can see the blue LED come on at least I hope you can see that the blue LED comes on characters flying around drops back down to earth LED goes off and navigates around um, flies drops LED comes on and off as the uh, character flies or not and basically if there's air below the feet or if the block below the character is air then the LED comes on well what I'd like to do is if you can turn on an LED we always tell people if you can turn on an LED you can turn on and off just about anything so as an example of that instead of turning on and off an LED I'm going to turn on and off a fan to pretend like the wind is blowing in my hair as I fly through the air around Minecraft to do that instead of an LED I'm going to use a fan and in order to turn the fan on and off I'm going to use what's called a solid state relay and this works pretty simply it can take a digital input on one side and on the other side we have two uh, sides of an electrical cable one plugs into the mains the other just has a receptacle that the fan plugs into uh, you notice that this is all exposed it's not plugged in right now so it's safe but it is exposed so you wouldn't use this with students necessarily but I'll show you an option for this in just a minute so I'm going to hook this back up uh, and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like okay so here we are we have the same two leads coming from the Raspberry Pi. Now instead of going to the breadboard with the LED, they're coming to the input side of the, or the control input side of the solid state relay. On the solid state relay, we have one side going to a receptacle. So this is power in. So this is live coming in. And then it's being switched on this side so this um, outlet is a switched outlet now and the white cord coming out of that is being controlled by the fan so the I or is controlling the fan pardon me so the idea is that when the Raspberry Pi pin goes high the solid state relay turns on which will turn on that switched receptacle and the fan will then turn on so now, I start flying in my Minecraft universe. The fan comes on, and I can feel the wind in my hair. I move around Minecraft world. Oops. Uh, and then as I drop back down to Earth, the fan turns back off, just like the LED. But now we're using a solid state relay. Um, and I think that's kind of fun. Now understandably you might not want to use a solid state relay like this that's exposed uh, with the mains open and available to be touched by students or others. Uh, you can pick one of these up for just a few dollars. Um, but you can also, if you don't want to use one of these, purchase, um, at least you used to be able to purchase a power switch tail which just has a one side you plug into a normal receptacle it has a place where you plug in and out your control pin and ground and this is what you would plug into your fan or other device you want to control and it would do the same exact operation except it's in a nice enclosed sturdy um, safe environment I don't think they just make this power switch tail anymore but on Adafruit they have another version that does uh, exactly the same thing with four uh, outlets um, instead of just the single one. So that's another alternative if you want to try something like this but uh, don't want to go with the open exposed solid state relay. Anyway, I hope that was vaguely interesting.